Hi everybody, I'm Darren Moore and you're watching Reggae Boys Country. This video is brought to you by MPEC Printery, specializing in t-shirt printing, posters and shipping from the USA. Call 876-775-6692 or 876-337-7374. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is also brought to you by BLC Jamaica Security Electronics. Specializing in alarm system, video surveillance, camera system or CCTV, barrier system, gate automation and access control. Call 876-320-7711. That's 876-320-7711 or 876-351-1105. That's 876-351-1105. Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. Hope you all are doing well and it's an exciting weekend weekend of sporting action. Yes, that is right. We know later today we're going to see Andre Blake and Corey Burke. Hopefully they lift the CONCACAF, well, MLS Cup title. And that, of course, that would mean a propelling board towards the CONCACAF Champions League. I think if Andre Blake is able to tick this box off, then there's nothing more left for him to do in MLS. It's, it would be time for the next chapter of his career. Honestly, there's nothing more to do. Unless you're going to say you're going to try and win it back to back. But honestly, you've won all the individual accolades. Now it's time for that grand honor of playing professionally in Europe. And opportunities are out there, trust me. So let's move right ahead, shall we? And let's talk about some of the Jamaicans that will be in action this weekend. I'm a gentleman, so ladies first. And let's look at the matches that will take place this weekend, starting quite soon. As you guys know, you'll, there's the English Women's... Yep, English Women's Championship. This is the second tier of, of football within England for women. And Shania Hales, six goals, seven assists, is on a purple patch of form. Absolutely splendid. Absolutely splendid form right now. 22 years old. The move from Aston Villa has truly helped her out tremendously. That's the Bristol City player. And look at the standings. Look where Bristol City are. Top of the table. And when it comes to promotion for the Women's Super League, it's only the top team. Six wins, one draw, zero losses. Bristol City, they are on top of things and on course for being promoted to the Women's Super League next season. Another Jamaican, of course, that you could keep a close eye on plays for Crystal Palace and has Paige Bailey Gale. 12 points, just seven points behind the leaders. So we're just going to have to wait and see to see if they'll challenge Bristol City. But right now, it's Bristol City that are flying, flying, flying so far within the table right now. Atlanta Primus at London City. Lionesses, yep, third in the table, 14 points. So we'll keep close eyes on her as well as it relates to the progress that London City plays this season within the competition. So we'll see how things go for London City and also for Paige Bailey Gale. Jade Bailey, well, that was a club still, but some time. Yeah, just give it a bit of time and quite soon. Let's hear play. That basically wraps up as it relates to the championship. But what about 
the WSL. That's right, the Women's Super League. How's that going? Well, when you look at the standings, it tells you everything that you need right there. Manchester United at the top of the table, Arsenal second, 15 points, and Chelsea third on 15 points. But Chelsea has played a game more than everyone else. Khadija Shaw and Manchester City, yep, they're fourth in the table, nine points. So six points adrift of the top three. And as we know, they'll need to finish within the top three to stand any chance of securing European football next season. Because the way that the Women's Super League works in England, it's quite straightforward. Basically, the team that wins the league qualifies for this Champions League second round. The top two teams do that. And the team that's third qualifies for the Champions League first round. So there we go. That's how things match up there. Tottenham, they're fifth in the table with five points and uh, five games and also nine points to their credit. Still six points behind the top three. So they'll look at themselves and think that they have a steady chance as well. In terms of the matches, Tottenham, they face Everton on Sunday. So Rebecca Spencer and Drew Spence and Tottenham are at home to Everton. While Khadija Bonishaw and Manchester City, yep, well, they face Reading. So <clears throat> that should be interesting. And that's basically how the cookie crumbles there. Another win really, really puts the momentum up and puts the race for the top three very, very tough there. So we're just going to have to wait and see to see how things progress this weekend. But those are some of the matches that we can pay special and keen attention to. So we look forward to that in particular. Now, what about on the men's side of things? Well, Bobby Reed and Fulham, well, they take on Manchester City away from home. Yeah. And in terms of other players, Jamal Lowe and Bournemouth, they're away too. <coughs> Leeds United at Ellen Road. Aston Villa on Sunday. Yeah. And they play... Manchester United, Unai Emery's first game in charge of Aston Villa. And on Sunday, Mikel Antonio and West Ham United against Crystal Palace. Yeah. It is quite a stretch of things. And let me show you what the standings look like right now and how that impacts Jamaican internationals and players within the league at the right now in the competition. So you guys can let me know how you guys feel about that. So... That's the standings right now. And as you can see, Arsenal for the time being at top of the table. Fulham, 7th, 19 points. West Ham United, 13 points. 13 points. Aston Villa, 16th, 12 points. They are just a point, just a point above the relegation zone. So they need results quick. Bournemouth, 14th in the table, and the bottom three, Nottingham Forest, Wolverhampton Wanderers, and Leicester City. That's what the table looks like heading into this weekend's fixtures of games. So, are your boys fans? Let me know your thoughts. How will our Jamaican players get on today within their respective leagues? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. This video is brought to you by MPEC Printery, specializing in t-shirt printing, Posters and shipping from the USA. Call 876-775-6692 or 876-337-7374. Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is also brought to you by BLC Jamaica Security Electronics. Specializing in alarm system, video surveillance, camera system or CCTV, 
barrier system, gate automation, and access control. Call 876-320-7711. That's 876-320-7711. Or 876-351-1105. That's 876-351-1105.